twelve dollars a hundred percent silk. Real fast from a day job, running fast from the way it was. Jump quick to a paycheck, running back to the strip club. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't make. Hi everybody, welcome back to Jenny's Ransom. Welcome back to a brand new video. It is the weekend vlog. It has been a while since we've done one of these. Where, where are you? So we are headed to Manhattan. Yes, I am wearing a shirt, wearing a tube top because it is crazy hot out here in New York. We are waiting for the bus because we are headed to Manhattan for a thrifting trip. Yes, we are going thrifting, me, Maria, and this little thing. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It is free and it's fun here. And if you're not new here, hey gang, and welcome back. Welcome to a brand new video. Yes, I have my debit card out because you pay with the debit card out here. Thank the good Lord because um, back when we had to buy the little Metro card, I used to always forget to buy one or refill it or uh, I don't know. I just will forget to figure out my metro car situation so i'm glad we could pay with the debit card and the metro cards weren't free before they used to be free and then they started making you pay a dollar for the metro card and then they would expire and you would have to pay a dollar even if you didn't lose yours so right now we are waiting for the express bus i love the express bus and we caught it by chance this time so we can head out to the city y'all um, if you caught my week at, or weekly vlog, which is the one right before this, I finished recording that one yesterday. And this one is right behind it. I'm hitting y'all back to back, I hope. <laughs> Editing Jen. Uh, <laughs> uh, I did an office of the day kind of thing. So I'm hoping to incorporate that a little more. Maybe that'll be like a, a day in a life kind of series. We'll see. Uh, is that the bus? No, it's not. Two minutes? Yep. You have my phone? No, I have my phone. Oh, you... She's tracking the bus on her phone. The buses have GPS, so... It's too hot out here. It's very hot. And I put sunblock, and I am allergic to the sun, so I have heat... Heat allergy uh, bumps all over my I arms. I have no allergies. No? Lucky you. At least I don't think. I don't know. And it's true because I took uh, an Allegra and the bumps went away. So I was blown away because I was reading about it on Google. And one of the, um, it feels so funny recording and not seeing my shirt. <laughs> it feel like I'm standing on the street naked. Uh, yeah, I was reading about it on Google and they said take a Benadryl and the bumps will go down. And I'll take Benadryl because it makes me sleepy. But I had Allegra, I took it. And sure enough, like 30 minutes later, the bumps went down. But now I see them popping back up. So I got to get out the sun. And that's even with me using sunblock. But let me, uh, I don't know. I'll wait till we get to the city. So zero minutes. To do an outfit check. Do you see the, the thing coming up on the map? What? The, it says zero minutes. Okay. I don't know where it is. I don't see it. Because usually I was it's here. It's on 92nd Street. Okie dokie folks, we made it here, out to the city, I am, <laughs> uh, we made it out here, and we're about to hit this thrifting thing, I promise y'all I'm not naked, can we say that word on YouTube? Maria's out here, so we're at, we're, the first spot we're gonna hit is this place called Beacon's Corner, and we're gonna see what is, what is given. So, it, it, 
Okay, good. My bad, it's called Beacon's Closet. Are these, um, what do you call it? Loe, is that who makes them? Daddy said if I see Jordans, oh shoot. Not shoot. How do you how do you pronounce it? I I I always see it. He probably would be interested. to Maria's a thumbs down. Customer service. Yes. But what is Looks like it's gonna be an art art store. Uh so that was a thumbs down but there's a few other thrift stores around here. So we're gonna check those out but first we're gonna grab a bite. I think I need to put hand sanitizer on. But yeah, welcome to the weekend, y'all. I tried on some shoes that I thought were cute, but it looked like they were a little too small. They were seven and a half. I'm typically an eight. But sometimes I could get away with a seven and a half. But I don't like my feet to hang off the back looking like a baguette. <laughs> you ever see people like that? Like they put look looking like yeah, hanging out the back. There's this girl at the end, she has the baby size. Mm -hmm. She knows she can't fit them because of the heel hanging off. And, and it looks like a baguette, right? And then she continues wearing them. Wait, let me see. Oh, I found it. I was trying to find some hand sanitizer. Hello. What does Ruby's have? The little Ruby's. Oh, as she walks into PF Chang. <laughs>
on like Cross County. Lunch was a hit, and now we are at Thrifty number two. Second, what is it called? Second Street? There was a Panera, Jen. A Panera? We can eat that anytime. brother would die.
can't be clean though, right? It's like... Dolce over here. Hit. I didn't get the skirts, any of those skirts I showed, but I did get a couple of tops. And tops is what I needed for, um, I don't know, just for some day to day outfits. So here's my little bag. So now we're going to check out thrift store number three. What I said, I said it was called Crossroads, right? Was Second Second Street or whatever it was called, that was one of them? One of what? One of the thrift stores, I said. Uh, no. I, I, didn't, I don't think you named them. Crossroads, Crossroads was one. Yeah. Oh, so that one was a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> It's a bonus thrifty. <laughs>
pay for my show. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's like she blended in with ice. Oh. Full day of directing. We made it to Hawaii. We made it to Canal. Authentic global team. Where are we? This is. No Cameron Bakery. So good. Alrighty, gang. I am back home from our little thrift trip. Boy, I'm shiny. So, I didn't even do an outfit check. Uh, white tube top with these pants I got let me just do it real quick these pants I got from H&M they're just these loose let me do it here these loose fitting um, satin pants they are loose throughout and then I just paired it with these New Balance sneakers I just thought that was such a cute thrifting thrifting outfit so the thrift stores we went to they were really really nice i uh didn't like the first one beacon's corner or beacon's closet i don't know why i keep calling it beacon's corner maria didn't care for it either um that was initially the first um the initial reason we wanted to go thrifting was to check out that thrift store because we heard so many good um, reviews about it, but eh, it wasn't giving what we thought it was going to give. Maybe it was just that location. Um, maybe it was just overly picked. It was a bit crowded. Um, were the other stores crowded? The other stores were really crowded. It was a Saturday afternoon, so, you know, the people were out. Everybody was out on the towns. Um, <laughs> the city was really crowded. We had a good time nonetheless. The second one we went to, which was um, 2nd Street, uh, <laughs> that one was really, really good. They had a lot of stuff in there, y'all. If you are from New York or you plan on visiting New York, go thrifting check out the thrift stores especially in downtown 11th street 14th street they are well worth it the next one we checked out was crossroads that's their bag they had some stuff in there there was a pair of shoes in there and i think Oh man, I really regret leaving them there. They were a pair of Jimmy Choo's for $120. They were size 8. I tried them on. They felt a little too tight. Um, and I feel like, I was like, maybe they could have been stretched. I hated to leave them there, but I was, be, I was really being a little frugal. I don't know why, but they were really good. And they, um, they were at Crossroads. What else did we check out? We checked out another one, Thriftland. That one, don't even bother. If, unless you are into like the cowboy style. Uh, <laughs> that one was not worth it. So Beacon's Closet wasn't worth it for me. I mean, maybe I'll check out the one that's in Brooklyn. That one, maybe I'll check that one out and see if they we're giving there's a couple of other ones that we typically go to i think those were on like 23rd street or 26th street it's called uh buffalo exchange we usually go there and then there's another one next to buffalo exchange that's really good anyway here's what i picked up so i only picked up four things it wasn't anything to go running down the street about i needed some plain shirts that's really what i was in the market for i was going to go to h m originally to get some shirts <clears throat> but when 
Um, Maria said, let's go thrifting. I was like, okay, maybe I could get some things from there. I also wanted to get some pants. You guys saw I picked up some skirts. I was going to try some of those on. But um, I did end up trying on skirts at Crossroads, but uh, they didn't work out. One was too short, and the other one I couldn't even get up my hips, honey. <laughs> anyway, so Second Street. I picked up two shirts. I didn't even bring my phone. Um, anyway, so the first one I picked up was from Eileen Fisher. I picked up two. So this is it, size medium, Eileen Fisher. <sighs> Let me get my phone. So the first thing I picked up was this tank top um, by Eileen Fisher. It's just a basic tank. Um, the fabric on this is 100% silk, y'all. 100% silk. I didn't even realize. Let me read that again. Here we go. And I'm going to bring it in close so y'all know I'm not BSing. 100% silk right there. I should have grabbed that third one too then. Anyway, 100% silk. Now, here it is, Neiman Marcus, $78, okay? That is the retail value for this tank top. And here's where, here's what your girl paid for it. Okay? <laughs> $12, 100% silk. Can you believe it? <laughs> so I got one. How do you even wash this? Because obviously this is secondhand stuff. It's got to be clean. So I'm going to toss that on the floor. It's not going to sit on my furniture. And I also picked it up in cream. Again. Yep, 100% silk. Eileen Fisher, 12 bucks. I cannot believe that. Y'all, I didn't even peep that in the, um, in the, in the, what do you call it? <laughs> in the thrift store. I just saw that they were Eileen Fisher. I was like, okay, they have to be good quality. $12 so that was a good deal huh and the next things I got was from made well let me just do a little look see all right so as you can see tops from made well I don't know are we focusing uh, I don't know if it's focusing but kind of in the same area 78 bucks $72, $69, around there. Um, so I picked up two tops from uh, Crossroads. So I picked up this nice, um, just like an uh, orange top. This is nice for the summer. I like the fabric because I feel like this is not going to show sweat. It's nice. Um, pretty thick without being um, hot. What's the fabric on this? 100% cotton. All right. Looks pretty, pretty nice. Doesn't look too worn. Um, the fastenings are all there. The tie is there. It doesn't look stained. Doesn't look too worn. It looks like someone had this, bought it. Um, worn it maybe once or not at all and um i got it for a deal this one if you uh the the brand made well well maybe it looks pre-washed it looks like it was washed a couple times if you go by the little tag here and i picked this up for 14 dollars and as you can see the tops from that company goes for about 78 bucks down in the laundry pile and I gotta try these on the next one I got was this like nice off the shoulder so you gotta wear this off the shoulder on up I got this it's like a cropped style 
this will look nice with a pair of jeans or a nice pair of shorts um let's see the fabric on this one this one i think feels like a hundred percent cotton as well oh they cut out the fabric um tag on this one so sadly i cannot talk about fabric but this one looks like it's been around the block but it feels like one of those kind of tops where it will last it will stand the test of time and i'm putting it all over my body but i'm about to get in the shower anyway again by the company made well <clears throat> so it is going to be a good quality top retails for about 70 bucks i picked it up for 14 dollars so that is it for my little haul um you guys saw the last place i ended up was at um was canal street and i dropped my other camera <coughs> so that's why that part of the um vlog cut off abruptly because i dropped my camera and now the little gimbal part is not um turning so i think i have to go take it to best buy to get service i did purchase insurance so I'm so happy I did that because it was an expensive camera. So I have to go see if I could get it fixed or replaced. So now I have to deal with that. So now I'm back to taking my Lumix out and about. <laughs> Which is fine so because I do feel a little more comfortable vlogging out in public. Anyway, that was my little haul ski for um, thrifting. I had fun and I picked up some shirts. I'm really glad I did because I needed some shirts. I'm so sick of wearing the same tops over and over and over and over. Howdy gang, it's the next day and guess what? We are on my <laughs> pocket three. I got my camera to work. I played with it a bit last night. Um, and I just did a gimbal calibration and I got it to work. So now I don't have to go to Best Buy to get it serviced. So I am outside. I'm outside because I have a customer this morning. She booked me a couple weeks ago. And so I'm gonna take care of this job. And then head back home because we have the movie this morning at IPIC. We are taking the dads to see Bad Boys 3. My husband, my brother-in-law. Oh goodness, my battery is dying. It's very sunny. All right, I gotta walk up one more block and then left. I gotta hurry up. It's very sunny which is concerning it's not not very concerning because it's not beaming it's still early and it's still cool i have to figure out this sun allergy thing now that i know it's legit um because i don't really want to be wearing long sleeves all summer but it seems like that's what i'm gonna have to do i mean i knew i was going to have to because the, the past um, five years that's how my skin has been responding to the sun but I had no idea what to do about it um, but now I know just to take allergy medicine and the hives will go away and today I have no hives I mean I have a little bit um, like here I don't know let's see in the sun I don't know if y'all can see it but I have some um, <clears throat> some aquaphor on it hopefully that doesn't <laughs> make it worse um, but I wasn't in the sun too long so I didn't get any new hives on my arms. But, and I do get them on my legs as well. 
if I'm out in the beam and sun. Like I know when we went to DR, I had them bad. But now I know allergy medicine, it'll go away. So now I'm gonna see if I could go to the doctor and figure out there's a way to prevent it. Cause sunblock is not working. I mean, and that's the thing, like I didn't put any on today, but I'm not gonna be out here in the middle of the day. And later on, I'm gonna put on some long sleeves um, before we go out. But yeah, y'all, I'm just out here getting that bread. And I typically, typically my business is closed on Sundays, but this customer um, seemed like she needed or was only available on Sundays. So I made an exception for her. And I didn't charge her extra. Um, I just considered this a service to the community. <laughs> serving the Lord, serving the community. I charge her regular price. I'm not a gouger. Uh, I don't think that's fair. Because this is a, a will I'm doing. And she's young, or sound, she doesn't sound elderly, so I don't know what, um, what she has going on in her life to be, you know, so on the young side, the younger side, and doing a will. Or maybe she's just being um, super responsible and having her things in order. But I just figure if she's emergent about this, um, she wants to get it done. She's already paying an extra fee to have a notary come out to her. I'm not adding, putting extra, uh, an extra expense on her to get it done. Charge the regular fee, help her out come out on an odd day and do it but anyway let me get to her and I'll hit y'all back I'm home y'all but I just wanted to show y'all Father's Day for my husband I can't show y'all opening his gifts but we got him presents I can't show y'all the other pair, but I'll show y'all later. job went well it was nice and easy I'm worried about this camera anyway when well, she came out here by herself oh oh excuse me yeah Table and all the chic, baby, come eat. 
Bad boys, bad boys. Hell, what, what you, you gonna, gonna do when they come for you? The plane is ready. We roll in 20. It's an abandoned amusement park. There should be. Bad boy, right? Got a big bad wolf in the neighborhood. Not bad, mean it bad, but bad, mean it good. So good. A movie was so good. So much action. So funny. Everybody enjoyed. What y'all thought? Thought it was good, Maria. It was solid. It was solid. Huh? It was, you, <laughs> it was a movie. It was really good. I highly enjoyed. Very funny. A lot of action. Well, I you, did. You think it was better than the last one? No. I did. No. I did. I, I liked yes. this one better. You did, XJ? I did too. Huh? You I thought it was better than the last one, right? This one was much better. Much better. So touching. You think it's gonna? Uh, you think you think they're right about Reggie? That he's gonna be the the, the next? That's my. That's your. Oh, you. Uh, Maxie thinks the next the next uh, main character is gonna be Reggie in the next one. I don't think it's gonna be a next one. I think this one's gonna. They're gonna do a spinoff. You all spin off. I think this one's gonna be the last one. That's the feeling I got for it. This one was really good more on the uh, emotional side but it was really good pedos on all the devices come on y'all come on bye bye so now let's see what we get into now my battery is dying fast why? I don't know so now we at Paris baguette. Wow. <laughs> Every time we see one of these, Maxi and Maria has to go. So let's see what they got. <laughs> see what they got. Oh, I smell coffee. That smells good. Oh, well, here it is. He asked, what could you do for me? I told him that my love is free. Can you catch me? The coffee smells good. Like for myself. Want you, but really don't need help. So can you match me? I like luxury. I like fancy things. Shine on my body. Live like royalty. Treat you like a king. If I trust, but you must be worthy of the crown. I'm not just in the body. Born to the You gotta get. You have to get one of those things.
thank you guys for watching the video thank you for tagging along on the weekend with me i enjoyed having you guys along i really enjoyed my weekend and i enjoyed recording for you all thank you for watching the video i hope you are subscribed if you're not make sure you hit that button thank you for watching the video and i will see y'all in the next one y'all know it's right behind this one bye i just take it day by day